Let's move on to one of the favorite topics of all kids, of all children. This is their favorite topic and which is pictograph. And of course, it has to be favorite because it is very nice and colorful pictures that we need to deal with uh, those here. So, of course, this is one of the uh, favorite topics and very, very scoring, mind you, very, very scoring topic for uh, children. So, here we have these pictographs and pictographs are a way to represent the data, the tableau data that we have been seeing. Pictograph is our way to represent those in diagrammatic form. So here we have been looking at this pictograph all through the class and this is, this pictograph represents the count of number of students who for example like apple, who like orange and who like banana. So from this, from this picture I can understand that two students like apple, three students like orange and five students actually like banana. So the same information, instead of writing those numbers numerically, two, five, three, and five, I write them, I put them in more interesting way, and I write them as, I, I depict them as pictures. Each of these pictures represent one fruit. So this is one, one pictograph in which our job was actually simple because the values that we need to represent were could simply be represented by the uh, one fruit each. Okay, so each each of these uh, these pictures they represented only one count. Okay, and that made our job easier. But in some pictograph, for example, this one, each of these pictures that we have that we are drawing represents not one value but multiple values. So each of these trophies, for example, it represents not one but four students. Now, when you, when when we are representing multiple values using a picture then I will come across a circumstance, I come across values which cannot be perfectly represented by complete pictures. So here is an example. We start by representing a value of 16. Okay. So this is a 16 which we were able to represent. This value of 16 we were able to completely represent using four of these trophies. So I had four trophies and these four trophies because 16 is divisible by 4, I was able to represent 16 using four full trophies or complete trophies. The next value I am trying to represent, I'm, I'm, I need to represent is actually 14. But this 14, with this 14 I have some trouble. Why do I have that? Because this 14 is not evenly divisible by 4. So how many trophies should I draw? So what do I do? I take three full trophies. So each of these trophies represents four. So these three full trophies, each of them represents a value of four. So I get 12 from here. So this is 12. And then I'm left with two more. I need to uh, use a symbol for two more trophies. And for that, I create a new symbol in some way. I divide this picture into two. And this half of the picture now represents two trophies. So instead of full picture representing four, now I'm drawing half the picture. And that represents the half the trophy represents a value of two. So my final value becomes I'll add now 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 2 which is equal to 14. So very very simple again not very complicated the only thing we need to do here is that we need to create additional symbols for representing partial values. The next example in the next one we have to represent a value of 9. So 9 is again little bit tricky because 9 is 4 plus 4 plus 1. So this 4 plus 4 could be represented by 4 complete symbols, uh, uh, 2 complete symbol of uh, trophies okay so each of these four is complete symbol of trophy i need to invent another symbol for representing one so what do i do i cut this this trophy into four and one fourth of this trophy is drawn here to represent a value of one so nine is represented by two full trophies and one fourth trophy what would this symbol represent there are there is a half trophy and a one fourth trophy so half half trophy represents two one fourth trophy represents one so this value is actually equal to 3. Very, very simple. The last value is actually simple. We have one full trophy. So we can quickly say that this value is actually equal to just 4 and we are done. So that was one of the ways. So, so we we have to represent these values also. Okay, We are we cannot just say that oh, because my trophy is worth 4 students, I will have always have numbers which are multiple of 4. No, that is not the case. Sometimes we will have to represent values which are not multiple of 4. And in that case, we have two choices. The first choice is to actually invent new symbols like this that we have done, just done. The second choice is now what we will understand. We will not represent this value exactly. So this value 14, instead of representing it exactly, we will approximate this value and represent it with complete trophy symbol. So that is the second option we have and we will just understand that in a second. 
So the value of 16, I know I, I don't have to worry about representing it at all because 16 is divisible by 4. So I take full full four full trophies and I put them instead of 16 and my, I'm done. For 14, instead of representing the value of 14 for which I cannot, I don't, I cannot representing using full symbols. So I round this 14 up. So instead of representing this 2, I round this 2 to 4. Okay, so I just change the value of 2 to 4 and instead of using a half trophy now, I can use a full trophy. So that is the second way, right? So one way to represent this 14 is to invent new symbols. But if you want, don't want to do that, if you are okay with approximation, then instead of representing 14, we represent the next number or the nearest number which can be represented uh, or which is a multiple or which is a multiple of 4, okay, which is divisible by 4, we represent that. So instead of representing 14, we represent 16. In some ways, we round the 14 to a uh, nearest multiple of uh, 4, which is 16. So again, we have to go back to our chapter 1 where we discussed rounding. Now, in the next case also, we will do the same thing. But instead of rounding up, okay, we will round down to a number which is actually a multiple of 4. So this one will completely ignore. We will say that I will not represent 9 at all. I will approximate 9 with just 8. And because of that, we don't have to invent this new symbol. And we just take it away. And we are saying that I approximate this 9 with a value of 8, which can be represented using complete trophy symbols. The, the next example again is 3, where we had to use these weird trophy symbols. We don't want to do that. We want to represent this value of 3 also using complete trophy symbols. To do that, I round this 3 up to 4. I take it to the nearest multiple of 4, which is 4 itself. So I take this value of 4 and I represent, uh, instead of representing using two of these symbols, I represent, it, represent the value now using a single symbol. 4 is of course a multiple of 4, so we don't have to worry about it at all. I can simply represent 4 as a complete trophy. So now this is the second way of doing the same thing. These values, 14, 9, 3, these values we can represent which these values which are not a multiple of 4 we can represent in two ways either we create new symbol for those for these these values just to uh, accommodate these values either we create new symbols or we approximate and both of these well, these things are okay we can do either of these things provided what has depending upon what has been asked in my question so read the question carefully whether it is allowing you to approximate if it's allowing you to approximate use complete symbols if the question is not allowing you to represent it it asks you to represent things exactly in that case you should invent new symbols use half symbol you one fourth symbol and represent the value exactly both of those things are okay depending upon your exact circumstance